I gave birth and then she went up to the NICU, St. Francis. It was 39 days before I got to hold her. I would see her every day. Her blood pressure would bottom out. Her heart rate would decrease. She was in an extremely critical time for approximately six to eight weeks. Hi, I'm Michael Eccles, state representative serving House District 14 in Monroe. Many of us know parents who have premature children that needed intensive care in a hospital in ICU. It can feel like an emotional roller coaster for the parents of a struggling infant. This video highlights the love and support one of these families received at St. Francis Medical Center. Sometimes it will take two, three, ten times before they're going to tolerate feedings. And that's one thing that a parent will focus on. If the baby eats, it's going to be okay. The first time my baby had a bottle, a full bottle, I was at work. And they actually took videos and sent them to me. Her mother is a force of nature. She would come and she would talk to her and sing to her and read to her through a tiny little porthole every single day, sometimes two and three times a day. When you have a new mom and they're not able to hold their baby right after they're born, that's so traumatic for that mom. For us to be able to be there and see her the moment she got to touch her baby for the first time, then to be able to be with her on her journey as her baby grew and developed, and then now to see her <laughs> running around and living this wonderful life, and it's pretty incredible. I'm so grateful for them. I thank God for them every day. This little bundle wouldn't be here without them, and I really love them. They're awesome. Thank you, St. Francis Medical Center, for saving Deanna's life and helping her grow into a happy, healthy little girl. We appreciate what St. Francis brings to Northeast Louisiana, serving hundreds of thousands of people day in, day out with love and compassion.